Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace a chipper blade on the Cub Cadet Chipper Shredder, you will need a 3 8 inch socket, a 7 16 inch socket and wrench, needle nose pliers, a half inch wrench, a 3 16 inch Allen wrench, and a torque wrench. Using the 3 8 inch socket, unthread the two mounting bolts securing the chute support to the base. Now use the half inch wrench to fully unthread the two upper mounting nuts, securing the chute to the impeller housing. Support the chute assembly, then loosen the lower nut and fully remove the assembly. Next, unthread the two retaining knob screws securing the bottom of the discharge chute. Use the 7 16 inch wrench to secure the chute's mounting bolt. Then use the 7 16 inch socket to fully unthread the nut. Slide out the bolt, detach the chute, and remove the two spacers. Use the needle nose pliers to pull out the retaining pin, securing the shredder screen pin, and slide the pin out. Now lift up the shredder screen and support it. Reach in and rotate the impeller to access the chipper blade you're replacing. Use the half inch wrench and the 3 16 inch Allen wrench to remove the two mounting bolts and nuts, securing the blade to the impeller. This may require some effort. With the nuts and bolts removed, you can set the old blade aside. To install the new chipper blade, insert one of the mounting bolts. Then, with the sharp edge facing downward, align the blade on the impeller. Slide the washer over the bolt and thread the nut. Insert the second bolt, align the washer, and thread the nut. Using the half inch socket on a torque wrench, torque the nuts to 25 foot pounds. Release the support and lower the shredder screen. Slide the shredder screen pin through the impeller housing and screen. Insert the retaining pin to secure. Realign the discharge chute on the impeller housing and insert the spacers. Insert the mounting bolt then thread and tighten the nut. Fully position the chute, then thread and tighten the retaining knob screws.
Reinstall the chute assembly by sliding it onto the lower mounting bolt behind the washer and nut, then align it on the upper bolts. Slide the washers onto the upper bolts, then re-thread and tighten all of the nuts. Making sure the wave washers are intact on the chute support mounting bolts, thread and tighten the bolts to secure the support to the base. The chipper shredder should now be ready for use.